So this evening we're here with Ward, and well, we, we met Ward on another project. You might look back at some of our older videos. We titled him Muddin' with Matt. What we're gonna do over here is some more digging, and you can see where there's been some groundhogs digging up through there, looks like. What do you got planned here for us, Ward? Well, I have a four inch corrugated sump pump drain line uh -huh. that they put in 12 years ago when they built a house. Okay. The Bradford Pear loves to send its roots over there, so it's okay. plugged up a couple years ago. I cut it open, fixed that little section, it's plugged up again. Okay. It's time to dig it up and put in the two or three inch PVC, whatever we can do. Okay. So from right in front of the statue there, down to here where the D is on the curb, the curb, the D tells you where it hooks up to the drain line for okay. the storm sewer. Oh, okay. And since 2008, it has to be a solid PVC line. Okay. okay. Dug it up a couple places, thinking we might be able to shove a PVC down the existing pipe. We found spots where it's is flushed. Yeah. Looks like we got some utilities here to deal with. 811's Eight, been called. Uh, this is the uh, the only one down here. This would be the sanitary sewer, but I think he's going to be deeper than two feet. Yeah. Of course, he's got a power line. I think those are going to be well deeper than what we need. Yeah, I think those will be deeper, depending on how deep we are. Well, pretty deep. That's where it is. And it doesn't have to be that deep. Yeah. All we have to do is so you're, you could, we could potentially leave this one in, yes. is what you're saying. we could go right on top of it. Yeah, I think maybe that would be wise if we stayed up fairly high. Yeah. This, Especially if you're going to put PVC. Yeah. This Here's is an irrigation line. See the irrigation line? Yeah, this is where it's crushed. Yeah. It's only about two inches tall there. And then inside this one, there's one more irrigation line, but it's full of water now. This is where I noticed the leak was because it was bubbling up out of the ground. So I just put the sump pump there to try to get the water going that way so we could have a little bit of dryness to work in. But so they have a little irrigation in the problem. <clears throat> and I can fix those if we happen to hit them. What if we start from the bottom and come up? Because the last root bundle is right about here. Okay. Keeping the water from going that way. That sounds good. First scoop. Hopefully they don't tear up anything first thing. Oh. Gravel. It's rock. That's yeah, rock yeah. Lots of gravel. The whole bed of gravel now, so that should be getting close to it. Yeah. You probably better get a shovel here pretty soon. Place a four inch corrugated with a two inch PVC. Well, coming out of the house, it's only. Oh, okay. Over here, it goes into the corrugator. Okay. See, it goes into the corrugator right there. I see. Yeah. 
Steel.com who put them in. Oh, really? And asked me. I'm sure they've seen it before. <laughs> all we can do. <laughs> well, Ward, I think we've, we've got about dug out. I think we'll try it. I guess another way of saying it is I've made about as much mess as I can make. Broken about as much stuff as I can break. You know, I never even felt this plastic. Nope. There's sometimes when I hit something that I can feel it. And I can, you know, adjust based on feeling it. But with this plastic here, there was... I'd never even felt it. See, it when I grabbed it, I, I caught it all the way up there. And it pulled it right out. I mean, so who knows where it pulled it from. Yeah. There's only three sprinkler heads in the front yard, so. Now there's only probably one. Should be hard to find. So <laughs> not if nothing <laughs> pop up. <laughs> That's part of what we gotta do. Well, this is gonna be a lot better. Good fun. Yep. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. It's nice and easy, isn't it? Love it. <laughs>